they don't write too much stuff because no one wants to read like a whole page of text. <laughs> Never okay. lie. In the never, city. never lie in the city and really focus because everything you write down, we will ask you later. Czech Republic, according to the European Commission, boosts the low unemployment rate of 3.7 as of March 2023, slightly higher than the previous years of 3.4%. This places Czech Republic among the lowest unemployment countries in Europe. Job vacancies exceed job seekers. Despite the low unemployment rate, there are actually more job vacancies than registered job seekers. Job vacancies at 2.84 thousand and job seekers at about 273 thousand as of March 2023. This indicates a demand for skilled workers in various sectors. Hi, I'm Ijeoma Chinonsu and welcome to my channel. Over here we talk about moving to Czech Republic, clothing and as well settling in Czech Republic. With contents like these are things that interest you, please do well to click on the subscribe button, like my channel and also share to individuals who are interested in this content with flu by. Irrespective of these disparities, the Czech public labor market has a high or a strong demand for skills, um, in demand skills like technical skills, business and management skills, IT and digital skills, language skills and the likes of them. Different people have had their different experience in respect to searching for a job or getting a job in Czech Republic. Some students come into the country and over a period of a month they get their dream job while some have to wait about six months to get their dream job while some have to wait over a year or two to actually get their dream job while they manage with whatever they can get to take care of bills pay their school fees and the likes of them for me i am still on the path of getting <coughs> getting my dream job as i have something doing right now irrespective of the fact that it's not my dream job it still takes care of my bill and the likes of it but different individuals have had their different experience and Everything I say here is based on my own opinion and experience, as I would say. So for me, for, for an individual, a student, to successfully get a job in Czech Republic, I believe there are some intentional actions or activities they should carry out for them to actually secure a job. But the, on the other hand, there, there is only so much you can do while the rest is left with the hiring manager if it's about getting unfortunately sorry about the, <laughs> and the likes of them you get loads of them as i get them on a daily after applying or structuring my cv to a particular role so the importance of a job whenever you come into a country cannot be over emphasized because you have bills waiting for you on the ground. Over here in Czech Republic, you pay your 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 rent every month, not <clears throat> which is unusual to where I am coming from, which is Nigeria. I have to pay my rent just to, yeah, on a yearly basis. So you you need to it being on a yearly basis. I have the opportunity of saving and paying them waiting for a year to pay, pay again even if i lose my job or, or something like that at, at within the year but here in czech republic it is not the same you have to pay just like all most european countries that is if not all european countries you have to pay your sal your your rent just like other bills at every at the beginning of every month which goes to make you understand that you have bills to pay so you need a job 
I always encourage individuals who are just coming in to subscribe to or get a part-time job because it gives you the flexibility of of studying and as, as well as schooling. Schooling is not easy. Talk more of um, doing a part-time job or worst case scenario, doing a full-time job. There are full-time jobs available and come on, the com companies are willing to employ you on a full-time basis, but you act your primary aim of coming to, into the country is to study. So it's, it's always advised that you at least in your first year or first semester get a part-time job that gives you the flexibility for me i work mondays to wednesday i school mondays to wednesdays and um, work wednesdays to to the weekend so it gives you such the kind of work and study balance that you might need to be successful and I'm, 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 more, I'm more particular with this in the direction of um, bachelor's students and master's students. For PhD, somehow they can work things out because they are not required to report for classes or the likes of them. They, what they have to do is direct communication with their supervisor or their professor whichever it is so I, I would always encourage that individuals who come into the country whatever country you're going into to focus first on a part-time job as it gives you the opportunity to focus on your study properly now there are different type of um, jobs you can as well get you can get on-campus job and off-campus job on-campus jobs as much as I know there are jobs that include um, library assistants, administrative roles, um, working in campus cafeteria, cleaning jobs and the likes of them, or working in a security office. But for here, Czech Republic, it's a bit dicey because it is um, a Czech-speaking country. So you actually need to understand the Czech to actually have access to some of these jobs because primarily <laughs> um, the population the populants irrespective of the fact that your course is taught in english the populants in the school or, or, or the admission the non-academic staff are, are czech so it is what it is mm, except on some special locations where the job doesn't require you to the on-campus job doesn't require you to actually um, know how to speak Czech. Then off-campus jobs include um, jobs include um, working at a convenience store or a supportive environment, um, hospitality environment. Talking about hotels, restaurants. Talking, I'm, I'm still on part-time jobs anyway, and the likes of them, yeah. So, now still on off-campus um, employment, we'll talk about internship and co-op programs. Now, internship gives you the, the opportunity to have industry experience while you're still studying. So, it gives you the opportunity to actually know or understand the road or how the industry in Czech Republic is structured or wherever you are in Prague, Bruno, Padubuse, um and the likes of them. So internship gives you the opportunity to actually understand the industry depending on your course of study and the industry in which you are in and also trainee programs also gives you the opportunity so if you are applying for jobs it's it's a, it's I would always encouraged to actually look out for jobs like this because training programs as well gives you the opportunity they, 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 they would always ask, want to know if you have the if you want to if you have the opportunity of working 20 hours per week 
and it's it's all it's all dependent on you if you have more hours to put in good and fine what's more important is that it doesn't um affect your your study in any way um i, I have had individuals i know individuals who engage in such programs they do they do not come out um so regularly so you have to actually look out for them on different websites on different websites and i'm talking about websites there are loads of websites that you can see fresh job postings or job listings where recruiters meet um job seekers and one among them is indeed so just like most european countries indeed is also available in czech republic so if you're if you're in czech republic and you're or you're coming to czech republic um note it down that indeed is one of the websites you can you can subscribe to where you'll see loads of um vacancies if you're a job seeker and um, also among them includes um, experts.cz experts.cz is basically focused on international foreigners who are in czech republic and who are experts or students alike to help you with your job search and also we have jobs.cz which also is about jobs yeah <laughs> you know and also we have linkedin for me i would say linkedin is like master of them all because you 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 have the opportunity of meeting um business owners managers you know con conglomerates you know directors and the likes of them all so you have the opportunity of meeting or reaching out to them on a one-on-one -on -one base so loads of individuals have actually gotten their dream jobs via link linkedin so linkedin is somewhere you should be active on you should have your email you should have your profile all set up and all coordinated so if you're opportuned for an organization or an agency that is interested in your skill or in your profession when when they come in there they reach out to you directly i have actually had recruiters reach out to me directly on linkedin but uh, the major issue the major issue is usually the czech language yeah so the czech language is actually a major issue for most job seekers number one is czech language is actually not so much of an easy language i have friends who speak who are czech and um, who even tell you that hey what's up <laughs> czech language is the is the hardest is the, is the language you learn before you go to hell so <laughs> my point is it's extremely difficult so you could say i think i would do a video on learning czech language yeah i could do an entire video on learning czech language i i hope to bring like bring in one of my friends so to <laughs> more like a, a a czech learning class or a czech learning video whatever it is but i'll definitely do that so <laughs> you could say one one word in just you're trying to say one thing you could say it in 10 different ways no jokes yes it's as crazy as that and Ch czech language is not so much of a popular language so you find out that less individuals are interested in it because it is only spoken in czech or like languages like Deutsch that is spoken in different countries spanish espanol you know that is as well spoken in so many countries uh, French, you know, and English. So there are loads of jobs. There, are, I cannot tell you how much. There are loads of jobs that, that are available in Czech in Czech Republic. 
but the only challenge is that um, Czech language is is an extremely important factor. It's an extremely important factor. So as I was saying, I've had um, recruiters reach out to me. Um, by the end of the day, Czech language is, you know, I don't know how to speak Czech language. And to actually learn Czech language, you, to an extent, you need to study it as a course, not just as, um, in my opinion, not just as a course, not just something you, you do trivial, you know, or give, yeah, just my opinion, I might be wrong anyways. So this, back, back to what I was saying about websites, so these websites and more, I definitely do not exhaust, uh, there, there are hundreds of websites you can, you can, you can, you would see job listings, I believe I just mentioned a few, so just go on Google, search out websites to find jobs in Czech Republic and you'll find loads of, loads and loads of, of resources. Now I'll talk about um, the legal consideration and work permit. So for students, provided you are a student and you have your confirmation of study, you are eligible to work in Czech Republic if you want to work. Yeah, so all you need to do is submit your confirmation of study and with your visa type, you are, you are good to go. The minimum wage for as at 20, January 2024 is um, 112 Czech crown, which is uh, I think about four euros. Yeah, the exchange rates keep keep changing. So yeah, so 100. Uh, well, you just use your converter and you know how much it is. But I think it should be within four euros or there about 112 Czech crown. Pa ah, I mean pa ah, yeah. So, yeah. So as a student, you're allowed to work, and you're allowed to work during school periods. Talking about when it's not summer or or the likes. I think you're about to, you. You're allowed to work over twenty hours a week. For me, I have the option of working. 20 hours plus when school of course is not in section 20 to 40 hours yeah so it's all dependent on my lectures and you know how my course for a semester is structured then i structure it first i structure my timetable then i focus then then the remaining days i use them for work um yeah so on I'll talk about networking and professional development. So it is extremely, ex it is ex ex extremely essential. <laughs> it is extremely essential that you you network. Yeah, you you cannot you, you, you cannot overemphasize how important it is to network because it is it is something that happens here in Czech Republic. The existing or most organizations do they want individuals they require individuals who work in their company who are employed in their company to refer job seekers so with that they get with with that if for example i work in microsoft i work in amazon i work in accolade or any of this organization so i have the opportunity of referring a friend who needs a job so eventually, if that if that, the friend, the friend's employment goes through and is employed, I'll be paid some sort of commission after that friend goes through a period of a a, a period of three months probation and he's successfully employed. So I get I get um, I get some payment. So it's something that happens here a whole lot. It is not a guarantee that when you're referred, you get a job, but it's, it just makes the work easier for the organization, the organization who recruits, sorry, the organization who recruits. So, so that being that, it is extremely important to network. So for me, I don't go out so much, so I make sure I go to church. <laughs> And um, also, whenever there are events like maybe Nigerians are meeting, or so, 
you know i always try to reach out but most especially in church i i communicate with fellow nigerians fellow africans of like friends i make them understand hey what's up i am still on the path of finding my dream job here in czech republic so whatever you whatever you 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 have or if you hear of any listing please don't forget to you know give me a call or send me something you know and also i, I use the opportunity to actually show my cv hey what's up look at my cv do you think there are there's some things i i need to work on do you think there's some things i need to take out so i, I i'm always like I, i'm always I, i'm always humble about it because come on i need <laughs> I'm the one who did, you know, to find something better than what I, what I currently, what I'm currently doing. So, so that's it. So you cannot ever overemphasize how important it is for you to network, for you to be social, for you to meet up with individuals, and and for you to just go for events. Yes. So talking about events, there are loads of events you can actually go for, or that are organized by either schools or a community you belong to or or an organization that you, you're just affiliated to so they organize for my school they organize fairs um job f- um, fairs i think once every year yeah so i i had the opportunity of attending a job fair it was quite interesting i didn't get a job but <laughs> I didn't get a job but I got experience and I got to show my CV my CV to loads of um HR personnel because it's it is not something that happened a job fair is not something that happens so regularly and this is the first job fair I have ever been I never attended anyone back home in Nigeria so this is the first job fair I have ever ever been in so even by the next time it will be organized even if i will be employed by then i if i am chanced uh i would definitely um try to attend one because you get to have conversations um with individuals from different industries so i will be showing some clips on how the job fair I attended last um, went and also I was able to speak with an HR of one of the organizations that was there and she gave me she gave me some some tip on on steps individuals who are interested in working or students who are interested in working in Czech Republic um, who should take so this is me at the job fair which was quite cool out of the three venues it was happening simultaneously in i visited i visited that of my faculty which is faculty of economics and management and this is me getting in i know the media guys are here this is a big deal and uh, i saw loads of organizations that were that were presented there we had Coca Cola, we had KPMG, we had loads of them. The pra- Prague Airport, yeah, I think it should be one of the consultants managing the airport or so. And you know, the likes just join me and enjoy the vlog.
Hi. In you speak English? A little bit. So I, I I'm just coming here for the job fair. So I wanted to know what it is all about. Health insurance. We are. Can I have you on camera? Oh, okay. okay. We are health insurance company. Okay. Health company, and we are presenting uh, two offers. We actually have right now. Okay. We are searching for uh, people who are able to speak Czech. At least we see what level would be good, like speaking and writing. Okay. And you know that's it. <laughs> so what about English speakers? Just English speakers. Yeah. No, we need a combination. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So that was me hearing, unfortunately, for the first time that day. <laughs> but it wasn't not it wasn't a bad one because at the end of the day, like I got some fruits uh, and some souvenirs, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> this is me giving myself some motivational talk. I went ahead and spoke with some other HR. I showed a few my CV. I'm like, yeah, it was an opportunity, you know. Hey, what's up? What do you think about my CV? I'm like, oh, it's good, it's good. Oh, you need to do something. You need to do this. Yeah, so I took those tips and I applied them to my CV and I went ahead meeting with them. Some, some organizations were having um some trainee programs they were introducing to students who came to their their stand and i got a few so this is little it's a leading store here in czech republic so it was a good one they were also organizing theirs but i don't think i think they were specific about czech speakers I took out loads of things from the job fair. I must confess, it, took, it was it was an it was an, an eye opener for me. And as I, I said earlier on, I hope to visit. I hope to visit next year, even when I am employed in my dream job. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the vlog. Never okay. lie. In this never, city. never lie in the city. And really focus because everything you write down, we will ask you later. Oh. Because, for example, you write down that you are proactive or okay. that you are detail oriented, we will ask you why. Why did you write this? So, if you are detail oriented, give me an example of when you were detail, detail oriented. Okay. And yes. So this is what we will do. Also, ideally, if you are like from a different country, 
it's, it can be good for you to like write down your visa situation. That is also maybe a plus okay. because we will ask you when we do the pre-screening. Yes. Uh, usually the companies when you send in your CV, they will do a pre-screen, which is they call you, ask you some more additional information, maybe okay. schedule an interview. Then there are first round of interviews and second round of interviews. Okay. Usually works like this, okay. Okay. and they will definitely ask you about your like visa situation. So what kind of jobs do you would you advise international students to look out for? Uh, international students to look out for, I think ideally look into like companies that are multicultural, okay. that are like on the multinational level. So okay. for example, our company have about 33 different nationalities, okay. so look more for this because you can fit in better okay. and it will be more comfortable for the international students as well because there are like Czech companies that don't really accept much and they only speak Czech and it's a bit more problematic, so this is definitely one advice. Second Good advice would be like to choose an entry level. Okay, entry level. So, and also, don't be shy when you see like a full time job. You can ask. If you guys offer any internship through the same portal. Okay. Because we have good experience with students that like apply through a full time position, but they write down like we are looking for an internship. Do you have any possibilities? I am. I'm good at this. Good at this. I am motivated this way and this way. So okay. Thank you very very much. Any last tip? Last tip. Um, Try to make the CV look nice. Okay. <laughs> Don't use different fonts. Okay. Use like a, make it look pretty and put your picture in and ideally don't write too much stuff okay. because no one wants to read like a whole page of text <laughs> so try to keep it as short as possible and don't don't make like three or more pages of cv two is like maximum thank you very very much you. what's the name my name yeah Monica. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> hello have i been here Ah, no problem. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Are there positions for English speakers? I'm sorry, we don't have any positions. So I had a few takeouts from the event. It was it was a really really interesting one. I I met good on fine loads of in, loads of organizations that were represented in the job fair at school where Czech speaking organizations and I spoke with every organization there. I spoke with their rep, I spoke with their HR and eighty percent of the organizations needed Czech speaking. <laughs> Check speaking job seekers. No jokes. No jokes. And this this if this event was actually held in three places. Now I am um, my I, I my faculty is um, economics and eco um, faculty of economics. You know, so business um, organizations that need organizations that need um, such rules in relevance to business, accounting, management, administration, customer service, HR, we are in my, in my faculty. And I think we, they were somewhere else in, in the sciences or agriculture, a faculty in agriculture and also some other faculty. Yeah, and they had the, an, another place for just the general school, so I was just, I, I was just there for for my for my faculty. Yeah, so about eighty percent of the organizations that were there needed Czech speaking individuals, like Czech speaking job seekers, and even the ones that, the ones that were also there, like needing English speaking individuals, were. Had the option of English, <laughs> that you know how to speak. You must know how to speak English. Then, if you know how to speak Czech and also Polish, then it is an added added advantage for you. So, so, <laughs> so the language barrier is actually some sort of issue. So, if you know how to speak Czech, it's a big, uh, it's it's a big, it's a big um, opportunity for you. So, it's a big opportunity for you. So irrespective of that, I got some souvenirs, you know, and. Um, 
I, I learned a, a thing of or a thing or two in in the job fair. It was an eye opener for me. I hope like more is organized in the future. Even when I am employed, I hope to still attend to still you know develop myself and grow in my field of study or in my field of um, profession. So just to recap um, the whole conversation, it is essential that you learn in demand skills, learn in demand skills. If you, if it is, if, if, if it is possible for you, try to align um, IT to whatever you're doing, customer service, IT, um, HR or whatever it is, try to align IT to, into it. If you have it, if, if it, is, you're, it is getting so difficult for you to get a job, try seeking for internship or trainee programs. Um, also, look out for off-campus uh, on um, campus jobs. You know that would that would give you more opportunity. And also, try as much as possible whatever you're doing, whatever job you're doing. Make sure that. Um, you're balancing studies with with work. So don't don't make anyone suffer because at the end of the day, you need you need you need you need your study to for work to work. You know, I need your you need work for study to work because if you're working, you need confirmation of study. That is what makes you eligible to work. And if you but your study must continue, you need your job to pay your school fees. So <laughs> I guess this is a lot of time. Uh, when I'm about make, maybe taking a shift or something, I'm like, okay, okay, should I do this? It's 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 challenging when it's when it happens. So, but amongst them all, try as much as possible. If you can get a remote job, you you try as much as possible to to get a remote job because it helps you a whole lot. During when the when the winter was crazy, at some point I have to go to work, but. Uh, the winter is the cold outside is all mad and you know at sometimes I have to do a night shift so I just have to go and you know it, it's the cold is crazy so I just have to um, you know suit myself up and wear whatever layer of clothing I can wear to, <laughs> I can wear you know to help me to protect me from cold and like fortunately enough I am still surprised Surprise! I never caught cold so during the during those periods. So I give all, I give glory to God. So whatever it is you're doing, just stay focused. Basically, that's my point. And always try try your possible best to network. You never can tell. Try your best possible best to net, to network. The, the the one of the best places you can network is church. Okay church whatever church you attend you definitely find individuals of like minds or individuals who have been here for so many years ask them questions be open about it show them your cv hey what's up please this is my cv do you have any advice for me do you have any what do you think i should do what me reach out to people you know in a, irrespective of the fact that yes we are in a foreign land and we are everybody is conscious of the next person because you don't know who this person is you don't know what they've what they've been up to so but just try as much as possible to network and that is my um and ending note here yeah. seriously i don't know why but it feels like like it feels it feels like english is becoming a bit hard for me because <laughs> so that will end the that will, that, 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 that ends the notes thank you very very much for for sticking by i uh, really really appreciate um god bless you please do well to like my video do well to subscribe to my channel and also help share this video so individuals who are interested in moving to czech republic individuals who are interested in interested in moving to europe or who are interested in forging their studies can see contents like this have an amazing day ciao